After researching what the audience expects from the conventions of our chosen genre, we discovered the conventions that the audience wanted and expected in a postmodern action-adventure sci-fi hybrid. After asking the audience several questions, including what they wanted and expected from a trailer, we ensured that we created a trailer that suits the target audience feedback. By asking questions on genre expectations, titles, credits, form, structure, music and transitions, this enabled us to follow criteria that the audience required from a postmodern film. The audience stated that they expected many action scenes, thought-provoking storylines, high-tempo music, black and white, ominous titles and fades to black and white with crossfades. Using these expectations of our target audience, we ensured that we use these conventions in our trailer as the audience required these elements within postmodern trailers. We use this as part of our planning before creating the trailer to ensure that we suit the expectations of the audience. Subsequently, we shared our first draft of the trailer to our peers who answered a survey that we created to ensure that we have included all of the conventions they wanted, what the most effective part was and how we can improve. The audience stated that the most effective element of the trailer was the montage as the music coincides with the action. Thus, it's eye-catching and entertaining. However, at this stage, the music was sparse and didn't coincide with the action or events in the trailer. Thus, the audience stated that the music should match the events of the film, which for the final product we ensured happened. Specifically, the most interesting part the audience thought was the disappearing of the henchmen through the prop of the watch. They stated that it was edited well and was interesting. However, the audience also stated that in order to improve the trailer, we needed to ensure that they were aware of what was occurring throughout the three different lives that the protagonist lives in due to the complex plot. To make the meaning more clear, we used a voiceover of the protagonist who discusses her lives within the lab, disabled life and supernatural life to give the audience an insight every time she falls asleep and wakes up in either in the disabled or supernatural life. Therefore, by using a voiceover, it is easier for the audience to recognise the situation she is in. However, it was, from, it was from the perspective of the protagonist when she was unaware of what was occurring to her. This ensures that it does not give away in the entire plot of the film within the trailer, which is a traditional convention in trailers, which the audience also expected when we conducted our audience research. The audience also stated that the music needed to flow better between each scene as the music changes, which we fixed after the audience feedback. Moreover, they also stated that some shots needed to be cut as they were too long and didn't get straight to the point, which is needed within trailers to keep the audience watching and interested. Therefore, we cut some of the shots which further built tension within the trailer. Furthermore, the rough cut lacked in titles, thus the audience stated that in order to finalise the trailer, we needed to make it more memorable and know the film better to have more information. So they stated that we needed to add ending, add ending titles of the laboratory and informational titles of the release date and elements to add tension, such as the Three Lives, One Mission title conveyed in the final trailer.